Hello everyone, my name is Zi Hong. I'm a second year PhD student here at UC Berkeley, advised by Professor Silvia Ronasamy and Professor Scott Shenka. Today, I'm very excited to be here and talk to you about our ongoing efforts at democratizing civil access. This is a joint work with my colleagues Silvery, Mark, Shreddy, Silvia, and Scott. We started this project with a goal, which is to grow the 10 in cellular. Cellular network has become a more and more important part of today's internet ecosystem. Globally speaking, having over 5 billion subscribers contributing to over 50% of the uh, overall internet traffic. However, despite a growing importance, today's cellular ecosystem is still dominated by a small number of mobile network operators and most. In fact, last year in the US, over 98% of subscribers belong to the top three carriers. Our goal is to change this and bring innovation and competition back to the cellular ecosystem by lowering the barrier to entry for new entrants. We want to allow new players to join the market and profit from providing cellular access. We believe the key to enable this goal is to ensure that MMOs, even with a small to medium scale footprint, can play. Here, when I say small to medium scale footprint, it can be covering a city, a village, a plaza, or even down to a single cell tower. Regardless of the footprint, we want them to be able to compete equally. With this goal in mind, we examine today's cellular architecture and we realize that there are fundamental technical aspects of today's cellular architecture that are at odds with this vision of large number of small access providers. Without going into detail, today's cellular architecture relies heavily on pre-established trust and in-network coordination for providing large footprints and seamless mobility, both of which are infeasible when you come to a large number of small access providers. Because of this, we propose Cellbricks, a radically new but technically feasible cellular architecture, with a goal to enable users to consume access on demand from any available access providers without requiring pre-established trust or in-network coordination. In today, I will talk about Cellbricks service model as well as technical architecture in order to give you an idea of what Cellbricks is all about. First, I'll talk about Cellbricks service model. In Cellbricks, there'll be three parties. The first one is user. It can be anyone who has a mobile device that can consume cellular access. The second one is what we call B-Telco. They are essentially small independent access provider that perhaps own some physical infrastructure and provide users with cellular access. And the last one is what we call broker, and we borrow this terminology from MVMO, which stands for mobile virtual network operator like Google Fi. Broker doesn't have to own physical infrastructure. Instead, it has user-facing functionality and federate the underlying cellular architecture for the users. In Cellbricks, in order for a user to obtain cellular access, the first thing you do is to sign up and establish a contractual relationship with the broker, which is identical to today's MVMO. However, the key difference here is that instead of having a pre-established trusted relationship with the underlying access provider, broker federate a large number of untrusted access provider in an on-demand fashion. In high level, when a user wants to obtain cellular access from a B-Telco, you will request that by identifying himself as well as the broker that he belongs to. Then once the broker also has a connection, the B-Telco will then proceed and provide the user with cellular access. And when the user is done with the cellular access, the BTL code will be paid by the broker according to the amount of traffic that is carried for the user, and then the broker will then charge users accordingly. Everything happens here in an on-demand fashion. Next, I'll talk about in high-level Cellbricks architecture. Today's MMO architecture, we have a bulky network in the sense that it contains all sorts of different functionality from user mobility, data plan, control plan to user management. And when you come to MVMO, even though it may bring some new service model or business opportunity, it doesn't really change the architecture per se. Because as you can see here, the network is still bulky containing all the functionality. And even though off MVMO may sometimes offload part of the user management function. In Cellbricks, we advocate a, a radically new architecture in the sense that we move the mobility and user management out of the network into the UE and the broker by doing so, we allow a network to be much simpler, and this actually leads to a much more scalable architecture. To sum up, Cellbricks is a radically new cellular architecture that we believe to bring three major benefits. The first one is to lower the barrier to entry for new operators by essentially removing the requirement of pre-established trust and in-network coordination. And the second one is to lead to more efficient use of the infrastructure because we allow any user to consume access from any access provider. And lastly, because we move mobility and user management out of the network, we actually have a much simpler and scalable infrastructure. And that's all. Thank you so much.